I'm getting Amazon on Amazon. Hello? Sean? How'd you get my address? And why are you on your knees? You come to me the day of my daughter's wedding. You ask me for help. Kevin, why do you have breast implants? Because I... You know what? It doesn't matter. Do you want my help or not? Dude, please. I start plastics on Monday and I know nothing about it. You do realize I dropped out of plastic surgery, right? Wait, what? What's up everyone? So I know it's been a while since I last posted a video. It's been a very busy few weeks. We had our entire clinical boot camp, which we finished. And if you guys follow me on Instagram, then you know that we actually started our clinical rotations. So we're on the wards, we're finally third year students, and we're actually getting to go to the hospital. I haven't been posting because a lot of my focus over the last few weeks has been just being a good medical student, you know, really taking the boot camp seriously so I could get ready for clinicals. And then when I started my rotation, I didn't do any vlogging because again, I just needed to focus on being a good medical student, you know, good on the wards, making sure I was getting my bearings and just getting used to this entire new lifestyle. A couple of quick updates though, my research team and I actually got another publication in the book. It's on our project where we looked at how COVID-19 impacted medical student education. There's actually a poster right here for it, but I'll put the link for the article if you guys want to read it in the description box below. It's the first project that I took really seriously. It was kind of a big passion project of mine and I'm just really thankful to my team for working so hard on it and now it's published and it just feels like I can finally put it to rest. The second update is how big Chip this guy and look at him he is super adorable he's been such an awesome pup and Chewie's really enjoyed having him he's super super precious I got a DNA test back and he's actually half Yorkie and half Cocker Spaniel and honestly I have just loved having him but Chip is another reason that I haven't been posting because between school you know going to rotations and taking care of a new puppy I've just been so busy but the videos are back and I'm super super stoked so as some of you guys know I just finished my plastic surgery rotation and in this video I'm gonna talk about it you know the overall schedule what I liked, what I didn't like, what I think I could have done better as a medical student, and then my overall thoughts of like plastic surgery as a specialty and if I could see myself doing it. This will actually be a series on this channel where I talk about all the specialties that I rotate through because my school does rotations every two weeks. So I did two weeks of plastic surgery. I'm currently about to go in for my third night shift in a row for internal medicine. And in a week and a half, I have psychiatry. And then two weeks after that, I have pediatrics. And I think after that, I have psychiatry again. And overall, I think this is gonna be a really cool series on this channel because I'm gonna be exploring all these specialties, rotating through them for the next year and a half or so, and then eventually we're gonna find out what specialty I do as a doctor. Okay, so like I said, I finished my plastic surgery rotation and it was so sick. Like the stuff you do in plastic surgery, just like, blows my mind. It's so creative, it's so innovative, all the surgeries were so unique, they were so interesting, the anatomy was so complex, and the surgeons were just like so impressive. Like I just couldn't get over how incredibly talented the surgeons were and the way that they were able to like think on the spot for some things. So to give you guys an idea of what my day-to-day -day looked like, I'd pretty much wake up around 4 a.m. every single day, I'd get ready to go to the hospital, and then I would meet the residents sometime around 6 or 6.15. At that time, we'd go rounding on all of our patients. Some of them were pre-op, some of them were post-op, some of them were consultation, from other services. And then by 7 or 7.30 every day, we were scrubbed in for the first surgery. At that point, it was just like back-to-back -back surgeries all day. It was so cool, you know, we'd have like a flap for one surgery, we'd have like a craniotomy for another surgery. It was always like so unique and just so interesting because none of the surgeries ever felt like boring or redundant. It was like just super, super fun. Sometimes I would be able to get a quick snack between cases, but otherwise we were pretty much operating all the way until like four or five, sometimes six in the afternoon. And then I would come home and have to spend some time studying up on the cases for the next day, you know, reviewing the relevant anatomy, the overall procedure, pretty much just trying to make sure I was prepared in case I got pimped the next day. And that was kind of my overall routine every single day for two weeks. I only had one day off during this rotation during the entire two weeks. And that day didn't even feel like a rest day because I had a research conference. So I was just super exhausted by the time that my two weeks ended. But overall for a first rotation, plastics was just so sick. Like, I don't know if I'm gonna eventually like surgery, but I feel like even if you don't like surgery, you're probably gonna like plastics in general, just because again, what they do is so cool. I was really impressed by the residents the entire time. We had a fourth year resident who was pretty much in charge of everything. And I was just very impressed with his leadership, his ability to talk to patients, his knowledge. And it was really cool seeing, you know, where he was at compared to say like the first year resident where there was was like 
and obviously a pretty big like gap in terms of their confidence. And it kind of reassured me that I will learn through residency. I know sometimes we think like, how am I gonna learn all this stuff? How am I gonna become a competent physician? But to see how the first year resident was, who was already very smart and he was already very impressive, but then compared to like the fourth year resident, it was just really, really cool to see like how much you grow over residency. When it comes to the OR, I was very surprised with the vibe. I have never scrubbed in for any surgery before my first case on plastics and I absolutely loved it. Like you literally scrub in, there's just a lot of like talking going on during the surgery, there's music playing. It's just like an overall very good vibe. So as a medical student on this rotation, I didn't really have a lot of responsibilities. My main thing was I had to like bring our supply bag on rounds every day that just had a bunch of stuff in it like suture removal kits, uh, tape, gauze, Curlex, all that kind of stuff. Like if we had to change a patient's dressings, we had all the tools right then and there. And then during the surgeries, I was able to pretty much do whatever I was comfortable with. So after a few days, I was able to suture, which was awesome. It was nice to finally get to suture on a real patient. I was able to do things, you know, like holding suction, uh, you know, retracting back layers of like skin or fat, anything that like, the surgeon needed out of the way while he was operating. I was able to help with like prepping the patients for the procedure, just kind of really anything. Like they kind of let me do whatever I was just comfortable with. And they knew it was my first surgery so they were really easy on me. They didn't like, you know, pit me too hard. Their pipping was very like constructive. Like they taught me a lot of things and I really appreciated all of them for that. I also spent two days in clinic, which was really cool. So I got to follow up with patients, you know, post-op or pre-op if they were like planning what procedure they wanted to do. So it's kind of cool to see like those aspects of surgery as well. You know, besides just seeing the patient on the operating table. Overall, my impressions of plastic surgery was that it was super awesome. I love the creativity. I like the procedures, you know, all the flaps, the graphs, uh, you know, we did a craniotomy, which is super sick. Uh, just very creative stuff I never thought you'd be doing in plastics. I also really liked how fast rounding was. You know, I'm used to rounding taking a long time. I'm currently on internal medicine, so rounding takes a bit of a longer time. And on plastic surgery, you're literally walking in, talking to the patient about the surgery, because that's all you're interested in as the plastic surgery team, and then walking out. I would see like 10 patients in like half an hour, which I was not used to, but it was actually kind of cool. So things I could have done better as a medical student, I did not have a lot of confidence on this rotation. And a lot of it was because it was my first rotation. That was the most amount of time I've spent in this hospital in my entire life. I didn't know where things were. I didn't know where the different units were. I didn't know like the operating room flow. I didn't know what any of the tools were. I didn't know how you prep a patient for surgery. I didn't know where they go after surgery. I didn't know how much I could help with or what I couldn't do, where to stay sometimes you know you didn't want to be in the way so there was a lot of like issues with confidence on this where I was just a bit hesitant shy not very confident and I do attribute a lot of it to being my first rotation like I feel like if I had had at least one other rotation or at least a surgery rotation before this plastics rotation I would have been able to focus more on the things that were relevant to plastics and you know spend more time learning, you know, trying to be more impressive to the attendings. But I feel like I was so focused on such like basic things like scrubbing in properly, knowing the names of supplies. If they asked me to go grab like some sort of thing from like the supply room, I felt like I just wasn't able to perform well because of that. And I am looking forward to my next plastics rotation, which is at the end of the year, because I feel like there's gonna be a lot of development and I'll be able to really focus more on the rotation itself. One of the attendings gave me a really, really good piece of advice during this rotation. He said that, you know, for his rotation, as well as any rotation I'm on in the future, you know, one of the things you really wanna do is integrate yourself into the team as soon as you can. Within the first two or three days, make yourself a member of the team, make yourself valuable, do things without being asked. Like, for example, if you see someone suturing, grab a pair of scissors and cut the suture for them, uh, you know, without being asked to do it. Or if you know that you guys have to change a patient's dressings throughout, you know, the rounds and you do it every single day, then already having the material and already helping like, you know, turn the patient over or grabbing the material. Those little things where you make yourself part of the team rather than just like watching and observing and kind of just being like an extra body. And again, it was hard because it was my first rotation, but it was a really good piece of advice. And it's something that like was on my mind almost every single day after. And I'm gonna be definitely using that advice for like all my rotations. It's just was a really good piece of advice. Overall, I could really see myself doing plastics. I really liked it. You know, besides the fact that my feet still hurt uh, from standing all day in the OR, I just, you know, I just loved the idea of what they did. I loved what I saw. I loved what I got to do. I really liked the personalities. They were all so cool. They were all so nice. And like, they're like young and just like, you can tell they really liked being surgeons, you know, regardless on how rough the lifestyle could be. It was just, I don't know. 
It was really cool and I could really see myself doing it. But it is very competitive, so we're gonna see how step two goes. And I still have a bunch of other specialties to explore. I'm keeping a very open mind. I'm gonna treat every specialty like it's something I wanna do because that's kind of the best way to figure out what I actually am gonna end up doing as a physician. Anyway, I kind of started rushing because I have to head to the hospital right now for my third IM night shift and I do not wanna be late. So the next video will be about my internal medicine rotation. So if you guys have any questions specific to that rotation, uh, just put them in the comment section below and I'll answer them in the next video. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I really miss making videos. I really miss you guys. And hopefully, you know, besides even just the Rotations Chronicles, I'm hopefully gonna post other vlogs in the interim as well and just really get back into YouTube kind of as soon as I get, you know, my schedule and just like the feeling of rotations kind of figured out. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. So <laughs> you come to me the day of my daughter's wedding and you ask me for help. You come to me the day of my You come to me the day of my daughter's wedding. I can't do this anymore. <laughs>